Hello YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. Welcome, and if you are a returning viewer, thank you all so much for the love and the continued support of my channel. Today's video, we are talking about head turners. If you want to snatch souls, snap necks, <laughs> turn heads, I have got you covered, all right? These five fragrances have a wow factor. They have an if factor and they garner attention. They garner compliments. And in my opinion, they're quite unique. So without further ado, let's get into today's video of head turning fragrances. All right, you guys, so the first one of this series of five is number five, okay? This is Rosendo Matus Five. And when I tell you, you damn near wanna shed a tear when you smell the nozzle on this thing. It is very polarizing. It's a love or a hate. If you love it, you ride, you, you ride, die. All the above, okay? You love this if you love it. There is is no, like if you get that rubbery smell <laughs> or you get the, the smell of heaven, like this is, I would imagine this is what Jesus' sweat will smell like. This is phenomenal. It is addictive. It is sexy. It is everything. And if you're looking for a head turner, Look no further, <laughs> look no further. This is it. This thing is sweet, okay? You've got like this sweet, transparent, saffron, ambery, musky, uh, very sensual composition here, okay? I mean, it's magical. This is a very, you know, magical, ambery scent. And if you are looking for something truly unique, something that performs, something that projects, something that is like beast mold, but still has like this transparent, sweet quality to it. Similarly, like how Baccarat Rouge is very, um, it projects, it fills a room and it's sweet, but transparent sweet. This is gonna be along the same lines of that, but they do not smell alike at all. Like this, they both have the saffron, they're both transparent sweet but they don't compare in any way to my nose. So this fragrance has florals in it, but I don't really get a floral, like I don't smell like floral anything when I smell this. So if you didn't tell me, I would know this has some florals in it, okay? Primarily what you're gonna get is a gorgeous transparent amber scent, okay? And you're going to get the sexiest musk that your nose and your nostrils have ever smelled. Do not blind buy this. Okay, do not blind buy. I blind bought this, but it was so risky, okay? And I thank God <laughs> that it worked out for me. But like, like I said, very polarizing. Either you drive with this or you don't. And it may take you a couple of wears to kind of make up your mind about it. So if you sample it, get a five mil <laughs> decant. I'm pretty sure sensibly it will carry it, but gorgeous fragrance, okay? It's going to garner so much attention. It's so funny. My girl, Ev from the Ev Effect, I'm gonna post uh, a link to this video in my description box. She had the funniest story about how this guy chased her down out of the store, asked her what she was wearing, and literally purchased the thing in the fuck. Oh my God. And per I forgot where I was. <laughs> and purchase this fragrance in the parking lot. See, that's what number five do to you. It would have you dropping F-bombs on your own channel by mistake, okay? Phenomenal fragrance. If you want to snatch souls, this is the one that you need, all right? So the next one up on this list, <laughs> God gave me I just did that. The next one up on this list is the Gourmand that has me in a complete, a comp it has me in a chokehold, okay? It has me in a choco and I cannot breathe because it is just, it won't let up. It will not let up. This is Dulce Diablo by the House of Narcotica. If you are into gourmands, okay, this is the perfect unisex gourmand for, the, really this can be a gourmand for year round. I say that because it is very sweet. It has this cacao, but the apricots will 
it may it helps it to maintain a certain level of freshness um, that some of the really sticky sweet gourmands don't. So you can wear this on a summer date night. You can wear this fall winter year round year round gourmand. It is boozy. Okay, you got this cognac or rum note or something. I think it's cognac. You have the most realistic, gorgeous apricot notes. And you have cacao. It is sweetened very, very beautifully with the sugar and the honey, but this doesn't scream honey. So if you're one of those people that spray on a honey scented fragrance and you're like, it's giving me cat pee, I don't think you will get that from this because this is far more like of a, a white sugar type of sweet in my opinion and to my nose, but it's gorgeous. It's phenomenal. What can I say? This one, it has um, good performance, okay? So many people say that this is like extreme beast mode on them. I don't get that. I get in the opening, it has an explosive, <laughs> explosive projection and it fills a room, but I feel like that is just in the opening. This calms down quite a bit to something that wears a little bit above moderate, okay? It lasts on the skin and clothes. I oversprayed my clothes, I oversprayed my skin, and it definitely took me throughout my entire 12 hour work day, and I could still smell it, um, you know, radiating off my skin and clothes. So, Dulce Diablo is absolutely delicious. It is sexy, it is gourmand, it is like a night out? What? You wanna smell it edible? You want to turn heads. When you walk into that bar, that lounge, that club, that wherever you're going at night, everyone is going to shift their head to say, who is that girl? Who is that guy? Fellas, now you talking to, listen, you really need to get your nose on this one. It is amazing. I actually hear more men talking about this right now than women. Um, so men, it's sweet, it's apricot. Don't let that scare you. Absolutely, wonderfully wearing on a man. But women, you need it too. Everyone needs to get their nose on this fragrance, okay? Um, they have this available at Door Prestige and you can actually save 10% on your purchase if you use the link and the, um, the code below. So check the description box for that because this one is just, I mean, look, look now, 3.4 ounce. I don't think I've had this a full month and okay it's getting used it is getting used and i have to like kind of stop myself from wanting to wear this every single day at some point you know i'll probably wear it tonight but you know yeah i tried <laughs> del say diablo get your nose on it it's phenomenal all right so the next one up on this list is going to be god of fire now this one I haven't talked about as much because I'm, you know, I'm all on my fall, you know, uh, vibe, but this is a fruity, um, you know, scent that can still be worn in the fall because it's got some weight to it. God of Fire is like, it's mangoes, it's red berry, very musky, and it is a stunning fragrance. If you are into those um, fruity scents that have like this, the woody tones, the amber quality, this is the one for you. This has so much depth. It has so much presence and it smells absolutely divine. I think Harrods does have this back in stock because this one, at the height of summer, honey, everyone was sold out. I mean, it, this was flying off the shelves and for good reason. Um, I feel like when I go out and I want a fruity scent, but I want to stun like and turn heads, this is the go to, okay? I'm not going for a fruity floral. I'm not going for a hundred silent ways. Like they, those are good, they have their place. But if I'm trying to turn heads, it's gonna be God of Fire, all right? If I, if I want something that is captivating, okay? That is sweet, that is seductive, that has, like I said, presence, God of Fire by Stefan Umbert Lucas is definitely one you need to try. I love it. So the next one on this list is going to be from The Harmonist. This is Moon Glory, okay? So this is a very unique scent. Now, you know when a YouTuber gets on here saying it is a very unique scent, 
That is cold for you need to try before you buy, okay? This is so special. It is so beautiful. And it is unique because it has notes in it that you just don't see every day in just your normal run of the mill perfumes. Um, this has the most gorgeous honey notes, but even the honey comes across differently in this fragrance. I don't know, maybe it's honey from, from the Amazon. I don't know. I don't know where they got the honey, <laughs> but this honey is different, okay? It's not just the normal honey scent that you find in fragrances. This also has cactus flower, okay? I don't know what it smells like. I don't, I don't know. All I know is that I love this fragrance <laughs> and the florals are done so beautifully in this. This one also has a Hawaiian jasmine. This jasmine does not smell like just regular jasmine sandbag or your everyday jasmine. It is, this is a very, almost like exotic, but I don't wanna say exotic as in like tropical summer scent. I'm not saying that, but this is something very special. It is very unique and it has this exotic flair to it. Now this also has notes of like a ylang ylang and lychee, but I don't necessarily get those as standouts in the fragrance. Um, you do have like this balsamic quality to it from the Peru balsam and you have a gorgeous sandalwood note. Now to me, the sandalwood is a little creamy in there, um, but you also have hinoki wood. So cactus flower, hinoki wood, Hawaiian jasmine, so many gorgeous, very different elements that come together and make this stunning, stunning <laughs> fragrance. So if you are able to, I feel like if you stop into like a Saks or a Neiman's, they will probably have the Harmonist um, for you to stop in and sniff. Try it on your skin um, because like I said, try before you buy. This is not one you wanna blind buy. My wonderful subscriber actually gave me a decant of this and it was love at first sniff for me. This is not gonna be for everyone. <laughs> like I said, comp complex, um, unique, but absolutely a, a head turner. Performs. This performs, okay? I wore this the other day to work, walked in the building, went to the restroom, left out. 30 minutes later, <laughs> my coworker walks in and then I get a text and he's like, I can smell you throughout the hallways. I'm like, me? Who, me? Yes, you. I was wearing Moon Glory. This is a confidence boosting fragrance. This makes you feel otherworldly, period. So if you want to garner attention, you want to turn heads, this is the one you need to get your nose on for sure. All right, you guys. So the last one on this list is going to be the stunning Sapphire Blue Bottle <laughs> by Tamin, and this is Blue Hearts. Oh my God, this smells so good. I wish that everybody could just smell it. To me, this does smell unique. Um, it is very musky, very beautifully done musk. So if you're a musk lover, you will probably love this. This has a coconut and it has a cypriol oil, which can, I don't know, come off as oody to some people. So, it's hard to test and to try in the US just because we don't have Tamin just on displays in our stores. Um, and I don't think Lucky Scent has a, you know, I don't think they carry this. So it's hard to get your nose on this in the States. But my UK babes, you can definitely stop in and sniff. This is so freaking gorgeous. It feels very opulent. It feels quite unique. And I just cannot get enough of this. Um, I got, I've gotten so many compliments when I wear this, like a man literally screwed up his entire face and was just like, you smell really good. Almost like unexpected, like, you didn't expect me to smell good? No, he doesn't know me from a can of paint, so he probably didn't. But he was like in shock at how great I smelled because this is just a very, a very beautifully composed fragrance. You have an amber quality to this, it's earthy. It has, um, you know, this gorgeous orris roots. Um, you know, that lens, that powder is, and it has a heady saffron. It is so, 
so stunning, okay? I have put so many people onto this and y'all have been telling me, girl, thank you for the recommendation because I love my blue heart. It is a stunner. I absolutely love it and I cannot recommend this fragrance enough. So if you want something unique, something that's gonna turn them heads, Blue Heart by Tamin. All right, you guys, so I know that was a short one, but we only had five fragrances for today. That is the video. I hope that you have enjoyed this time with me. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, you guys. Make sure notification bell is turned on to all, and make sure you give the video a big thumbs up as it helps your girl to continue to grow this channel. Thank you all, and I will catch you on the next one.